All right, so how did you do? So in connecting all those dots, you should have connected those 20s. The 20s did squiggle around a little bit. And you notice they didn't have, oh, there are some 30s up there. So the 20s were squiggling. So when you made your 30, you needed to have made sure your 30 always went between 20 and 40. So I'll connect those right now. So 20 and 40, that 30 would be somewhere right in the middle. We don't know exactly. If we had more data, we might know exactly. But their 30s go all the way in between the 40s and the 20s. 10, and then those two fives, I'd say make them do a little circle. So if you didn't do that, it's okay. But we're going to guess that that might be just a circle there. Um, we don't know, and that's one of those things. We have to, if we had more data, we would know more. Uh, 50 was a bit tricky. There was some on the west coast. It went all the way through to the east coast, but making sure that 50 was between your six was between 40 and 60. Now 70. This lower region in the south, these 70s, they could have just been one long line, or we could have closed them into a circle. 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70. So you can either leave it as a line or kind of circle them up together. But what I want you to do right now is kind of shade it in, just kind of put some lines on whatever shape you did, or you can go open the bottom, just kind of shade that area. So that area, we're going to consider that to be dark area, because when the dew point is greater than 70 degrees, that means that it's very hot and very humid, and that's when you get extreme weather. That's when you get mega thunderstorms. That's when you get lots of unpredictable things. Crazy tornadoes can happen in these cases. Um, so if the dew point is greater than 70, that means that it's really humid. It's really stormy. There, there's something strange going on. The weather's weird. So this area right now is going to be having some severe weather. That's what we can tell as meteorologists. The other areas, there's this cold, definitely this cold air mass dipping down into to most of the Midwest. But this now is, this is our dew point map with all of the isodrosotherms. Thank you.